Okay, cool. Uh, I just want to make this quick tutorial. So we are going to make stairs. Uh, just delete the reference image. And we are going to start with a basic cube. And in edit mode, we want to bring it up so it's flush against the grid. So G, Z, 1. And that just like moves it up on the G, uh, Z axes. Um, now we're going to take this guy pretty much flat. In fact, we can do it super flat. Now we are going to grab it on the Y axis, pull it up. And now we're going to go into edge selection, bring this up, the top face. And now we have somewhat of a ramp. So now we are going to loop cut it with control R, slide it up a little bit, uh, just eye it. This isn't going to be perfect. Um, yeah, come on. Loop cut. Yeah, it looks fine. Left click to confirm. And yeah, again, this isn't going to be perfect, but it's quick and easy and perfect for uh, blocking environments out. Now, we are going to press I to in insert. Insert. And then we're going to press I again. And just, you know what? It needs to touch the edges, so pull your mouse way back and left click. It's still there, just trust, trust me. Um, we're going to change our pivot point to individual origins. And we are going to move them up a little bit with GZ, scale with S, Z, zero. There we go, stairs. It's fine, it's fine as is. Now we just want to move, it, move them a little bit down so they're flush. Uh, so this point touches that point. What we're going to do now is we are going to turn on snap snapping and we are going to select, I think it's closest and vertex and GZ. Oh, wait, we got to go into vertex and GZ. Bring it down till it snaps to that vertice. And there we have Serge. Um, it's a little bit shallow, but I mean, it's fine for a tutorial. And now we are gonna have to merge all these points. So press A, M, by distance. And now, in theory, they are perfectly flush. And I think that's about it. But we are gonna texture this bad boy. So let's detail it up a little bit first. Um, we want to select all these faces and give it like a little nudge. So we are going to press this one and shift G to select similar, click normal. And there we have all these faces selected that's pointing the same way. This is going to deselect the bottom one and you can turn off snapping and individual origins. Yes. Keep that on and shift D and scale Z, scale Z scale Z yeah just like it's a little bit thin and we are going to turn back on vertex snapping and press ctrl Z hmm that just snaps it to the center so we gotta change our snap method to active and press just you want to select a top vertice there so GZ move it up till it snaps now we can turn off snapping tool and extrude it a little bit, just a little bit, uh, just enough so you can uh, make a kid trip and fall. Um, <laughs> and press Control B, bevel it a little bit, and yeah, just pull out your mouse and bevel it. I think that's fine. Cool. Now we have stairs. Um, now let's get to texturing. Go into your shading panel and change this bottom left window to UV editor. And we got to start with a material. So let's make a new material. In fact, let me just open the material slot so you can follow along. Uh, let's call this one planks. So as you can see, I downloaded a few planks. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, it's royalty free and yeah, it's 100% free. Now, we've principled BSDF. Um, I'm going to press the end panel. If you haven't enabled Node Wrangler in your add-ons panel, just let me just show you quick. Added preferences. I know everybody hates this part of a tutorial. And then you go into add-ons, uh, search, Node Wrangler. 
There you go. Sheet. And with that enabled, you add a principled setup. And we are going to click and drag the image or find the file path, whatever it takes your fancy. And we are going to select the color, uh, normal map. It needs to be normal map GL. Because Blender is using OpenGL, I think. So color, normal map, and I think that's the roughness. Bring that in. Wait for it to calculate, and boom, it's ugly. So now we are going to go into edit mode, select uh, everything with A, U to unwrap, and we're going to click cube projection. Let's just slide this one up, and let's see how this looks. It's acceptable. Let's scale this manually up. So we have a few planks. Um, let's scale it up so we can see. I feel like that's fine. Um, let's just turn on ambient occlusion so you can see better. Yeah, that's fine. Now for this bottom base, um, it kind of looks ugly. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to give this a concrete texture. So we are going to start selecting this face, the bottom one, and then we are going to hold control, click on way on the back, so control just finds the shortest path. Um, again, do this in face selection to make your life easier. And select back face, and just hold down control, and we are going to go around it. And um, I feel like we got to add a little bit more detail here. So we are just going to press E, and that just extrudes it, and press Alt-S to scale it along the normal, and just give it a little bit of thickness. Cool, we have this uh, surrounding faces that's still wood, or not selected, so we are gonna hold down Shift-Alt, so Alt is just select around the loop, and Shift is just to make sure you can select more stuff. So um, shift, alt, and click on the edge in face selection, and I will select the loop around it. Um, now, in your material panel, uh, let's just call this wood, and let's make a new material slot and call this uh, concrete. Con concrete? Yeah. Too lazy to spell today. And let's just plug in our concrete material. Just gonna plop these in. Color, I think this is roughness, and yeah, color roughness material. Okay, nothing has changed because we haven't assigned it. So under your material panel, we're gonna, gonna click assign with concrete selected. And let me just close this word. Bye bye. And then we're just gonna scale this up. And there we go, some nice fancy stairs. Um, you can like detail it a little bit. Um, you can, in fact, the topology is somewhat good for loop cuts and stuff. So let's say it's a modern house. We are gonna select uh, some faces on the edge. So hold down control and press I and extrude this a little bit and give it a little bit of a bevel. There you go. You have a nice, rich people staircase for some brutalist architecture. I hope this helps. Um, it's not the correct way of doing perfect staircases, but if you need something fast and ASAP, this is good enough. Okay, bye.